Hi, this is Rahim Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to apply XLOOKUP and filter function based on a similar situation, but we will compare between these two functions and we will see how to uh, use these function with respect to if a user is uh, going to search some substring based on wildcard and if XLOOKUP has certain limitation uh, by returning some multiple results so how we can overcome with uh, and solving it with the filter function so probably this is one of the exciting videos uh, for all of the professionals who are not just working in kind of a sales department but eventually um, if you are an HR professional sales marketing finance uh, even admin uh, you see this kind of issue faced by most of the users and another thing that we will be solving this scenario based on two different situation plus I will be solving this situation in Microsoft Excel 365 desktop version whereas I will also tell you how to solve this situation in Google Sheets as well because the functions which I will be putting together are available in both the applications right so let's get start uh, with the first very basic example where we will be comparing uh, XLOOKUP and filter function and see if they are able to return the multiple results okay so we have a data here uh, this is the range where you can see there are 20 branches of a particular bank we have four columns branch code branch name uh, region and deposit amount in USD and what we are required is this is the uh, data set and we need to filter uh, those records which pertain to a certain region likewise east okay so we want to fetch uh, the values of uh, east region branch code names deposit and usd right so let's get start with the x lookup i have already uh, turned this uh, range into a table format and define the name as well so i will be directly applying the function as well as we need in a different positioning so we will be using transpose function together as well so equals to transpose then we will up start with x lookup so the lookup values available in i4 then lookup array will be uh, i have defined the table name that is banks db and this will be look into the region column the next argument is return array array will be banks db that entire re range of four columns okay and if not so as you can so now as you can see uh, we have got uh, the first result for the east region that is branch code 4 uh, let me so the first result which we got from the x lookup is that it fetches the branch code 4 which is in the east region right but there is, there is no multiple results which has been returned by the x lookup uh, for the east region as you can see here right so that's the limitation with the x lookup that it just fetches the first occurring result it does not go to the second occurrence of that particular criteria or the third occurrence of that criteria right if i write let's suppose if i write region west so it returns me just one result whereas we know that for the region west we have so many branches in the west region right as you can see here so now this is the limitation with the X lookup. So to overcome, and we know that a certain region has multiple branches or multiple information. So for that, X lookup will not work here. Uh, we need to change the function, and we will be using filter here. Okay. So how to use it? Again, we need in a transpose position. Then we will start with filter. So what output we want? We want uh, banks DB all columns. Now in the include function argument, we will add a criteria like if this cell is equals to banks db to the region column and let's close the bracket. So now you can see that uh, there are four branches for the east region. Let me write that. Right. And the filter function has successfully returning the multiple results based on us criteria whereas x lookup uh, relatively failed to produce the multiple results that's what we learned in the first uh, situation that comparison between x lookup and filter function 
uh, and returning the multiple results so for instance if i change the criteria here let's say north so it just returned the first occurring result whereas if i change here north so you can see we have uh, more than one branches in the north region as well so the most efficient method is uh, i hope you have learned uh, the filter function right now in all right one more thing we can do here is that uh, you know that this information is related to the region north and we don't want this raw likewise here the region is keep on repeating right north and we know that because we have already selected the north so it understood that uh, these belongs to the north region or if i change the criteria let's say east so it belongs to the east one right so i need to get rid of this particular raw so how to modify the formula so let's first learn with the choose columns the array is defined here now we will add column one column two we don't want column three here because it's pertain to the region we want the fourth column and we will close the bracket so now as you can see here that is being eliminated and we can just press ctrl x to cut and paste similarly with the filter function uh, where we're gonna add the choose columns we will be adding here right here in the array so we'll add choose columns functions and uh, we want first column to be returned second and fourth that's it right and just cut and paste here so now when you change the region we know that this belongs to the north and we got the information so that's how you modify and this is also available uh, in google sheets as well um, adding one more uh, criteria of wildcard searching okay so in this particular example what we have we have uh, three columns of a data uh, motivational books title uh, the author's names and the year published and uh, let's do it with first transpose and x lookup and we will see the limitation and then we will overcome with uh, by having because they have multiple results as well so we will be using filter function so let's get start equals to transpose x lookup and let me mention that uh, the similar thing we can do not just uh, all those functions which are i'm, I'm using in this particular uh, excel 365 desktop version is are also available in the google sheets as well okay and i will show you that so let's apply the wildcard uh, searching here so in the lookup value argument uh, we will write in the quotation marks static then m percent sign uh, the this cell will be uh, we will be writing the keywords here or the alphabets here and then join again with quotation marks static right then in the lookup array we need to return from the data table we will select the motivational books title all right uh, the return array will be from again data table what we need uh, all the columns so we will write data here okay then comma if not found match mode will write mindset here let's say mindset and let's say it returns the first result but what happens if i write a keyword here and okay a and d and so it just returns the first occurring result from a data which is think and grow rich okay but if you see uh, we have uh, some other books which uh, the word and is there uh, how to win friends and influence people or grit the power of passion and perseverance right so what the limitation with the xlookup is that it just returns the first occurring result it is not going to the next uh, multiple results and not giving us the correct results right so that's the limitation with the xlookup now if we do similar thing with uh, the other function like we need to use the filter so how are we going to do that let's do it here equals to transpose filter so we want all the columns from data table as an array in the include which is for the criteria we will be using is number 
search and we will use a while card here so quotation marks tarek m percent sign we will pick this cell again m percent quotation marks tarek right then within text we have a data table and we want to search them into motivational books title column right and let's close the brackets so as you can see here as soon as i provide the keyword which is mindset it returns the one result whereas if i write end here so now you can see uh, the filter function is able to produce the multiple results uh, for the end keyword available in this list of box right uh, so you can see the difference here if we if i provide the it just returned the first result but if i provide the keyword here the so it returns the multiple results so this is uh, i guess effective way an efficient way to use uh, the filter function now i am in the google sheets as you can see here right and in the google sheet the similar situation has been solved uh, with the transpose and xlookup because the, these are also available in excel desktop version as well as in the google sheets so not to worry about this and you can see here in the google sheets these functions are available transpose filter is number and search right so either you are doing an excel desktop version or in the google sheets that will help you to make a similar kind of a solution. Thank you.